Hi, this is Sam from the Cloud Slang team, and today I'm going to walk you through writing your first Cloud Slang operation in Flow. Cloud Slang is a YAML-based language for writing workflows, and therefore, we recommend you use a text editor that supports syntax highlighting for YAML. In this video, we'll use Sublime Text, for which we've written some helpful snippets to make writing Cloud Slang code a bit easier. We're going to write a very basic flow that will take in a person's first name and last name as inputs, concatenate them into a last name, comma, first name form, and print out the concatenated name. Here we are in Sublime, and the first thing to notice is the folder structure I've created here. I've created two files with the .sl extension, the extension used for Cloud Slang files. This also allows Sublime to recognize them as being Cloud Slang source files. First, we're going to write an operation in the file I've called concatename.sl. We'll start by using the Cloud Slang skeleton snippet. You can see here that we need to define the file's namespace, which can be used by other files to reference this one. A file's namespace needs to match the folder structure in which the file resides, so here we'll use demo.code. The next thing you'll notice is the import ski. As you can see, it's commented out using the YAML comment marker. In our snippets, lines that are commented out are optional. In this case, we don't need any imports, so we'll just delete that line. We'll start writing the operation by using the operation snippet. The name of the operation needs to match the file name, and the snippet has taken care of that for us already. Next, we'll uncomment the input ski and add a list of inputs for the operation. We'll call them str1 and str2. Next, we need to define the action that the operation takes. An action can be either written in Java and referenced from the operation, or you can write it in Python directly inside the operation. That's what we'll do here. We'll write a Python script. Our script will simply join the two inputs with a comma and space between them and store that value in a variable called joined. Next, we'll use the join variable as an output so we can return its value to a flow that calls this operation. And finally, we'll delete the results key since our operation will always end in a result of success, which is the default anyway. In Cloud Slang, both flows and operations can be run in pretty much the same way, so we can test our operation by running it with the Cloud Slang CLI. I've saved the file now, and I'll paste the command to run this operation and pass in Jane as str1 and Doe as str2. As you can see, the operation is finished with a result of success, and the output we defined is printed to the screen. Now let's create a flow that will call this operation. I'll make a new file and call it firstflow.sl, and save it where the other files are. And I'll just set myself up here so we can see the flow in operation at the same time. Now we can start writing the flow. We'll start the same way we did for the operation, with the Cloud Slang skeleton snippet. But this time, we'll need to import the operation by creating an alias, which I'll call ops, and mapping that to the operation's namespace. This will allow us to refer to any flow or operation using this namespace. Next, we'll use a flow snippet to give us an outline for a flow. Our flow will take in two inputs. We'll call them first and last for the first and last names. Now in the workflow, we'll put a list of tasks that make up the flow. Using the task snippet, we'll call the first one concat. And here, using the alias we defined above, we'll reference the concatename operation we wrote before. We have to pass this two inputs, so we'll map str1 to the flow's first input, and str2 to the flow's last input. And finally, we'll publish a joined output from the operation as the variable full name in the flow. At this point, we could output the full name variable using the flow's outputs, and have it print to the screen as we did in the concatename operation. But instead, Let's use a new task to print the value to the screen to see what a flow with more than one task looks like. We'll be using the default navigation here, which always goes to the next task in case of success, so we'll just delete the navigate key. Now we'll create another task to print out the published result. We'll call it printer, and we'll reference a print operation I wrote ahead of time. As you can see, all it does is take an input named text and prints it to the screen. We'll pass the full name variable that was published as the text input. Now we'll just clean up what we don't need, save the file, and run the flow. You can see that we run the flow the same way we ran the operation. But if our operation was in a different folder than the flow, we'd have to pass its path to the CLI. And as you can see, the flow ended with success. Each test that was run is logged here, and the print operation printed the published output of the concat names operation. Let's run this again, this time with the names starting with lowercase letters. 
and when we run it, you can see that it's printed with the names in lowercase. Now what we can do here is any input can take not just a variable, but a Python expression. So we'll change the text input over here to take fullname.title, which will change the first letters of all the words in string fullname to uppercase. When we save and run it again, we see that the names are printed in uppercase this time. And the last thing we'll do to our flow for now is to give the inputs default values. If we save and run the flow without passing any values, the flow will run with the default ones and print them out. That's all for this short introduction. We hope it helps you in getting started writing cloud slang content. But the truth is, you don't really have to write any code at all to start using cloud slang. You can use our rich repository of ready-made content that is packaged along with the CLI and readily available on GitHub. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website at cloudslang.io and check us out on GitHub.